Hello, welcome back to my channel. Based on my last video about undervolting an RTX 4090, I've done some more testing and here, I've, here are my final thoughts and my results and my conclusion what, which setting is the best. Okay, we started. If you, if you want to see the details, uh, you have to look the video before. And I'm vaulting in an RTX 4019. Here are just the results. So we here it stuck. Then we raised the power limit and we gained some points because we don't hit the power target anymore. Here is my undervolting setting, 965 millivolt, and uh, GPU, GPU overclocking by 195 megahertz. We lose not much performance against uh, against stuck, but we but we win a lot of power saving, 13 percent. So most people make the advice to use just just to pull down the power limit i have done <clears throat> as you can see the result are nearly the same than undervolting this advantage is here you always hit the power target and uh, this will make the gpu clock go down and up some steps so i like undervolting more because you got a straight gpu clock Okay, then there are some people saying uh, you have to <clears throat> overclock the GPU and pull down the power limit. I have done and you can see the results are nearly the same. <clears throat> but this makes no sense for me. You're overclocking the GPU, but you set down the power target, so it makes no sense. You, you're overclocking with a hand, handbrake. So you hit the power target still all the time. The GPU clock is a little bit higher than stuck and higher than undervolting. So it makes no sense. This is complete uh, nonsense for me. So you better be with just pull down the power target. This is for beginners, just pull down the power target. And if you are advanced, you can find your sweet spot with the correct volt settings. You have to find it. Sometimes it's a game is crashing, so you have to raise the voltage until you find the sweet spot. <clears throat> <clears throat> Here are my overclocking results. You can see the results by your own. And uh, you lose efficiency completely. That makes no sense just for benching, but not for all the usage for gaming. Okay, let's uh, make a conclusion. For me, undervolting is the best because you don't hit the power target. You got a straight GPU clock and uh, everything is fine. You've got the coolest GPU. This makes absolute no sense for me. This is for beginners. It's okay. Yeah, that's it. I hope this video helps you a little bit. My next video is about DLSS 3, V-Sync and G-Sync. And I will make some... Uh, there are a lot of rumors and I will make it a little bit clearer for you. Okay, see you next time. Bye.